Hello, and welcome to the Tech Classes with Houston Public Library. I'm Jonathan, and today I will be guiding you through Google Drive. Google Drive is a free, cloud-based service that offers a wide variety of applications for users to create, upload, organize, and share files and folders with friends and coworkers. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to log in and use Google Drive, understand how it works, and understand the features of Google Drive. Ready to get started? Google Drive is a free cloud storage for anyone with a Google account. Files can be uploaded to your Google Drive to free space on your computer or for working on the go. Documents that are shared with you can also be downloaded from your Google Drive to a computer. To begin, a Google account needs to be created if you don't already have one. Creating an account is simple. It is recommended to take our Email Basics class before diving into Google Drive. Email Basics will give you a detailed step-by-step -step direction on how to create an account. Now that you have your Google account, let's take a closer look at some of the features of Google Drive. Once you have logged into your Google account, you'll be able to see the nine little squares. Click on the squares in the top right-hand corner of the page and look for the Google Drive icon. Google Drive gives you access to many useful features. In Google Drive, you will find a menu on the left-hand side of the drive which includes My Drive. This is your cloud space. Documents can be created, saved, printed, shared, and accessed anywhere in the world if a computer and internet connection is accessible. Everything created here is saved in this space. Documents can be organized into various folders inside Google Drive. You can create spreadsheets, presentations, and documents. One of the best features of Google Drive is the automatic save feature. Any documents you create will be automatically saved to Google Drive as you type. If the computer shuts down unexpectedly or you lose internet connection, the document is saved and ready to be used again once you log back into your Google Drive. Google Drive also has templates. Google Doc templates provide you with a quick and easy way to create business letters, resumes, project proposals, essay structures, and many more without the hassle of trying to figure out how to create a document from scratch. Just find the desired one from the list of templates, replace the content or make a few changes and save it to the drive as your own. To access the document templates, click on New and on the menu that appears. Move the mouse to Google Doc on the right hand side. Click on the symbol that looks like a greater than sign. Two options are then displayed, blank document and from template. Click on from template. A variety of templates are displayed for various purposes. Click one that interests you. If you don't like what you see, use the X on your browser to close it and look for another one. Remember, any of the templates you click on will be saved automatically to your Google Drive. Once you find a template you like, begin entering your own content, then save or print. When creating and working with various files, the Folders feature in Google Drive is the best way to organize your work. You may want to create folders for each document type or by category. It can get difficult trying to find individual files, but saving files in folders makes it easier. To create a folder, click on My Drive with a little downward pointing arrow from the home page. The first option in the pop-out list is New Folder. Click there. A new folder window opens for you to name. Name the folder according to how you plan to organize your documents, such as My Bills or Important Documents. This makes it easier to find a file or document in the future. When done, click Create. The new folder is created and can be seen in the Google Drive homepage. If you want to move previous documents that you have created in Google Drive to the newly created folder, simply click and hold the mouse, drag the file into the folder, and drop it in the desired folder. In Google Drive, you have an option on how your files are displayed. Files can be viewed in a list form or grid. On your Google Drive homepage, locate three little horizontal lines. Clicking on these lines changes the layout view of your files. Click once to change from list view to grid view. Click again to revert back to list view. To delete files or folders, click on the folder and hit delete you can always retrieve deleted items from the trash folder in your menu.
Google Drive also gives you the ability to upload and download documents to or from the drive. Upload means to move a document from your computer or local drive to Google Drive. Different types of documents can be uploaded into your Google Drive. Everything from PDF files to JPEGs and many more. Uploading documents to Google Drive saves the hassle of having to carry documents on a USB, which can possibly be lost or stolen. Remember, Google Drive is in the cloud and can be accessed anywhere in the world if a computer with internet is accessible. Did you know that you can also access Google Drive on your smartphone or tablet? To upload a file, click on My Drive from the Drive's homepage, a menu of options appear. One of the options is Upload Files. Click on Upload Files. When the box pops up, select the desired file on your computer or device. The file will now be uploaded to your Google Drive space. Moving on to downloading. This process means transferring files from Google Drive to another location. Most people download files from Google Drive to a computer. Saved files on a computer can be accessed without internet and can be a backup in case you can't get access to the drive. When downloading a file, first open the document you want to download in your Google Drive. Below the name of your document, locate the word file. Click on file. In the list of tools, download will be displayed. Click on download and a variety of options are presented to you. Most people will download the file as a Microsoft Word document, Excel, or PowerPoint, but it depends on what type of file it is. The document will be downloaded and saved in the download folder on your computer, unless you choose a different location. Documents can also be shared in the Google Drive with anyone who has an email address. Sharing a document simply means sending a document to someone electronically. If you have a resume in your Google Drive, and a prospective employer requests to see it, you can quickly and conveniently share it with the employer. The resume appears in their email. Before sharing a file, the email address of the person you want to share the file with is required. If the recipient has a Google email account, then the file will appear in Shared With Me in Google Drive. Your recipient can log into Google Drive and click on Shared With Me, and the file will be there. If your recipient has a different email service, such as Yahoo, Outlook, or Ymail, then a link will be created, which can be shared. Once they click on the link, it takes them directly to the file. This file can be shared with one person or with many people. To share a file in your Google Drive, open the file you want to share. Click on Share at the top right of the file. In the Add People and Groups, Type the email addresses of everyone you want to share the file with. When finished, click Done. The file will be sent to everyone. You also have the option to manage access to files and folders you have shared. For example, you can create access for the recipient to edit or make changes to the document by the permissions allowed by the sender. Click on the gear symbol. You can view your current options here. Editors can change permission and share. Viewers and commentators can see the option to download, print, and copy. There is a checkbox next to each of these two options. Leave the box checked for whichever options the recipients are allowed to do. If one of the two options is not allowed, click inside the box to delete the check mark. This can be done before or after entering the person or group email addresses. If you're interested in learning more, check out our full list of classes. If you're looking to expand your learning with more advanced courses, you can access lynda.com with your MyLink card. Use your MyLink card number and PIN to log in and start learning today. If you need help getting started, call 832-393-1313 to speak with one of our friendly and knowledgeable librarians.